You're up. I thought I was going to have to drag you out of bed the time you got home. I hope you haven't got a hangover. Hmm. No. Yeah, well, good, because it's an important day today. So, uh, where did you get to? For a walk. Didn't exactly feel like coming home after the way you went on. Well, can you blame me? I thought I was scrimping and saving to send you to Oxford, not your girlfriend and her kid as well. Yeah. Well, you're not now, so you're all right. What? You changed your mind? No. But Sarah has. Oh, good for her. She's got some sense. Yeah. And here's someone that will really make your day. She's dumped me and all. Happy now? No, I'm not. Not before your first exam. She could have picked a better time. Is that all you care about? The flipping exams? Oh, of course not. I care about you. Yeah, well, if you did, you'd never have gone on it like that. You'd never have forced her to split up with me. I never forced her to do anything. If she split up with you, that's her own decision. Do not put the blame on me. You OK? Uh, yep. Just putting the kettle on. If it's any consolation, I think you're doing the right thing. I mean, I know it doesn't seem like it now, but you'll have lots of boyfriends. Yeah, you're young. Mum, um, I don't want to talk about it. OK. I'll go wait, Bethany, shall I? Take you to the crash. You just concentrate on your exam. Hiya. Oh, no, love. You and I don't split up, have you? Yeah. So you're not off to walks? Then won't cause what I said, Warwick. Because I never oh, meant for you to... David, to... no, it's all right. It was never going to happen anyway. Just a stupid dream. Hello, Roy. You haven't by any chance seen Katie, have you? Only well, she said she'd meet me here. Uh, no, no, not today, no. Not yet. No. Right, thanks. Hey, Sarah, wait. We need to talk. We already have. No, just... Just five minutes, and please. OK. So you won't go to Oxford? But you don't mean we have to split up. I'd rather see you at weekends and not at all. Be studying at the weekends or out having a good time. No, Which I Which is won't. what you should be doing, not dragging yourself back up here to visit me and a toddler. But it's what I want to do. Yeah, maybe now, but after a while. Todd, I can't live like that, worrying every week in case you don't come, wondering if you've met someone else, if you're sick of me. I won't. You don't know that. Neither of us do. This is all because of me mum and Stuart, isn't it? No, it isn't. They only said what I was already thinking. I'll see you later. Well, I believe you had your first driving lesson yesterday. How did it go? Well, very well, I thought. Hayley was a little frustrated. I think she thought that I should have made further progress. Well, everyone learns at different rates. No, I mean, progressed further than the parking space. Ah. Well, I, I like to be thoroughly prepared, you see. Oh, nothing wrong with that, is there, Roy? Yeah, so this young man has got his first exam today, haven't you, Todd? <clears throat> yeah. yeah. That's where it all starts, you know, the chance to fulfil all your dreams. You reckon? Oh, absolutely. It opens up all sorts of opportunities. It's like coming to a, a crossroads and suddenly you've got those choices that you never had before. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Anyway, you make the most of it. You can do whatever you want with your life from now on. students seated on the left-hand side, GCSE on the right. I think you're stupid. Anyone can see that you're mad about each other. It's not the point. It won't work. You don't know that, though, do you? So he's going to Oxford. So what? Look, if you love each other, you can overcome anything. It doesn't matter how impossible it might seem. you just got to stick it in. Todd, are you coming? Yeah, in a minute. Well, good luck. You too. You should all have your question paper and answer booklet in front of you. Anybody not got one? Good. Remember to maintain absolute silence throughout the exam. The time is now... 9am. You may open your papers and begin.
Todd. Todd? What's the matter? You feeling ill? No. I feel great, actually. Then what are you doing? You just can't walk out like that. Just have. What's the matter? Nothing. I'm fine. Go back in. Not until I know what's going on. Listen, if you're worried about not being able to answer all the questions... I can. I'm just not going to, that's all. Please, can I try and talk to him? I'll give you a couple of minutes. You shouldn't be out here either. What do you mean you're not going to? I decided I'm not doing it. Are you mad? No. I think it's the sanest thing I've ever done. Well, I... I can't get you out of my head, Sarah. And I don't want to either. I'm not going to Oxford. I'm going to stay here with you and Beth. What are you doing, eh? Trying to make me feel guilty so I'll go back out with you? No, I'm not doing this to get at you. It's what I want. Well, it's not what I want. I'm not having you throw it all away because of me. How could I live with that? If you care about me at all, you'll go back in. Please. Change me mind, Sarah. I don't want to take exams. I don't want to go to Oxford and I don't want to be a lawyer. But you've been working for this for years. And it's been a waste of time. Oh, Todd, you're being stupid. No, I'm not. I've been stupid letting myself do stuff I've never wanted to do. Sarah, you need to get back in the hall. So this is it then? You're throwing away your future? Yeah. Thought you had more brains than that, Todd. You alright, mate? So? How'd it go? Oh, you know. No, I don't know. They only sat me GCSEs, and they only passed two of them. It was... Jason didn't do it. You what? I walked out. What, was it too hard? No, it wasn't too hard. I just... I didn't see the point. Wow. Have you seen man? Yeah. She's in there, making you trifle. I expect you so early. So how was it? Was it hard? It wasn't hard. Oh, well, it wasn't too easy, was it? I mean, they didn't make it easy on purpose to trick you into thinking it was easy, but really it was hard. Ma'am. Look, just sit down. Tell me all about it. Do you want a drink? No, I'm fine. Ma'am, I need to tell you something, and you're not going to be happy. You've made it up with Sarah, haven't you? No, this isn't about Sarah. It's about me. I didn't sit the exam. What do you mean? Did you get the date wrong or something? It was the right day. I went into the hall, read the paper, but I didn't write anything apart from my name. But why? I don't understand. Decided not to do it. I'm not taking any of them. I'm not doing my A-levels, and I'm not going to Oxford. Yeah, you yeah. are. <laughs> no, I'm not. I don't believe this. I know you had big plans for my future, and, and I know my disappointment, but it's my life, ma'am. Your life. Your life. You know, is this some kind of a joke, Tom? Because if it is, it's not very funny. It's not a joke. <laughs> so you were telling me that you've thrown everything away, all you've worked for, and for what? What have you thrown it away for? Is it her? That little cow across the street because she's finished with you? Don't call her a cow. I'll call her what I like. It's got nothing to do with Sarah. It's me. It's what I want. And I don't want to go to Oxford. Well, then why did you apply in the first place? Why let us think that's what you wanted when you didn't? Because I got carried away with it all, the idea of it. And then there was you. Oh, so it's my fault. No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying you got all excited. Oxford, Oxford, it's all you could talk about. I saw it meant a lot to you. But it didn't to you. You were just going along with it because you didn't want to upset me. Yeah. Well, I'm upset now. I'm a hundred times more upset than I would have been. Look, this is your future, Todd. You're going to be a lawyer. No, I'm not. I don't want to be a lawyer. Well, well, what do you want to be? I don't know. Well, maybe I can help you. There's um, factory work, stacking shelves, dredging the canal. Oh, there's no end of career opportunities for them with no qualifications. I've got qualifications. Not ones that 
doesn't matter. Come on. Where to? I'm taking you to school. Maybe you can still do your exams. No, I told you, I'm not doing them. Yes, you are. You are doing them if I have to stand over you. Get off me. I'm not a little kid. Well, stop behaving like one. Let him go. Have you heard what he's done? Has he told you? Yeah. Well? Well, Mum, it's his life. It's his life? He's about to ruin his life and that is all you can say! <sighs> why, oh why, do I bother? What have I done, eh? What have I done to deserve this? Just when I thought everything was finally coming together, you were going to Oxford, he had a job, and now this! I mean, do you two do it on purpose? Make me think everything's all right and then take it in turns to pull the rug from under me feet? Of course not. Well, then why, Todd? Why? I've said why. It's not what I wanted. It's not like you ever change your mind about things, is it? Well, what things? You're always doing it. We'd move somewhere and after a bit you say you didn't like it anymore, so we'd have to move again, or... or you'd be seeing someone and get bored and dump him for another bloke. Oh, I get it. You didn't do your exams because you're feckless like me. Well, what happened to it's not about you, it's my life? I must be a terrible mother. You're not. I, I never said that. Oh, what's the point? The point is, you are throwing everything away because you woke up this morning and thought, I can't be bothered. Well, we all feel like that sometimes, Todd, but we carry on. It's called life. It's about doing the right things. It's about taking the chances that are offered to you in life and about thinking about the bigger picture. Yeah, well, that's what I am doing. No, you're not. All you're doing is thinking about yourself, you selfish... Selfish? Selfish? You're calling me selfish? For years, I've done everything for everyone else. I've always put people first. You, Jason, Sarah, never me. Never what I wanted. And now I want to do that, because I really feel I have to, because if I don't, I'm going to be dragged down with some stuff I don't want for the rest of my life. Now I want to put my feelings first and stand up for myself. You call me selfish? It's not me, you selfish man. It's you. Me? Yeah, you. You've pushed me into this since I was a little kid, because I picked up a book and looked at it. You told everyone I was the one with brains. You never bothered with Jason. He was just the fit one. Oh, thanks. No, you were. And I was the one with brains just because I could string a sentence together. You used to introduce me to your boyfriends as the brain box. Jason to get money for Christmas, I'd get book tokens. You like books? Have that too. There was nothing else for me to like. You've pushed me all the way. I never had a choice about staying out of school, did I? It was decided years ago, and you were sussing out grants and stuff for me ages back. It was what you wanted. No, ma'am. It's what you wanted. Well, no more. You can't live out your dreams through me. Dreams? Who do you think you're talking to? Do you think that my life is that bad, that empty, that I have to live it through you? Do you? Because if you do, you're wrong. All right, I might work in a cab office and slave away here and not see the sun from one year to the next. And if I'm lucky, one of you two might buy me a birthday present or something at Christmas, but I will tell you something, Todd. I really thought you had the chance of bettering yourself, to make something of your life. And I wanted that for you, not me. Do you not think I've been preparing myself for when you go to Oxford, knowing that when you came home, if you came home, you'd not be the same, you'd not be my lad anymore? This has never been about me, Todd. Yeah, well, I'm not going now. So it don't matter, does it? No. Don't suppose it does. I'll get it. Stay there. I'll get it. Hiya. It's not a good time. I just wanted to see if you're all right. Yeah, I'm fine. Go back. Well, I'm not. I'm far from fine. Ma'am, please. What's up? Come to check out your handiwork. Sorry? I know your game, girl. Get him wrapped round your finger, make him fall for him, and then ruin his life. Is this some kind of warped revenge because some lad got you pregnant at 12? You say you want to end it all because you're worried that you might drift apart while he's at Oxford. The day before his exam, you say it, and then you sit back with some smug look plastered all over your face while he agonises about what to do. Mum! Were you there when he walked out of his exam? Were you hiding down the corridor, just making sure that he fell into the trap you'd laid for him? It wasn't like that. I didn't know. You're an evil little bitch, Sarah Platt. He had a chance. A chance which is more than you will ever have. Cut! 
talk to me like that. I didn't know he wasn't going to take his exam. Todd, will you tell her? She didn't know. I keep telling you. You have made a big mistake, Sarah Platt, because if you ever think that I'm going to let you near my son, you stay away from him, you and your brat. Do you hear? What's going on? Don't you touch my daughter. Touch her? I'll flame in lay one on her in a minute. What's all this about, Eileen? Oh, as if you don't know. You probably put her up for it. Realise no one was likely to take her and a brat on, did you? Realise no one was stupid enough to get involved with your family except my son. I bet you had a right panic when you thought he was going to Oxford. Is that when you got to work on your daughter? What are you talking about? You're ranting. Oh, that's right. Play the innocent. He's not taking any exams. What? Why? Because of her! Your daughter, because she is ruining his life. It's not true. I haven't done anything. I wouldn't have stopped him. I wanted him to go to Oxford. I want him to be a lawyer. I want him to be happy. Oh, you want him to be miserable like you? Don't you talk to her like that. She's been through enough already, hasn't she? She doesn't need this. Have you asked him why he hasn't done his exams? Well, have you? Well, of course I have. And he comes out with a load of rubbish about it not being what he wants. It's not rubbish. It is not rubbish. I've tried to tell you, man, but you won't listen. I'm sick and tired of trying to please you. All of you. You made it so hard for us to see each other. And Sarah, I've tried so hard, so really hard to support you, but you keep pushing me away. First it was Critchley, then Oxford. And Mum, you keep pushing and pushing, buying me that laptop and making a study room for me to revise. I was supposed to revise with all this stuff going around my head. You keep going on about my future, but what is it? I wanted it to be with Sarah and Beth, but she don't me. I don't want to be a lawyer. I don't want loads of money. I just want to be left alone. See? Rubbish. You'll never understand. We'll just understand this. This isn't about Sarah. This isn't about you or Jason or anyone else. This is about me. It's my life and I'm going to start living it my way, whether you or you or anyone else likes it. Now just leave me alone. <laughs>